Thank you, Anthony. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for staying with us. Welcome to this week's NASCAR CAM video teleconference ahead of this weekend's events at Chicagoland Speedway. Our guest today is Tony Stewart, driver of the number 14 Office Depot Old Spice Chevrolet, and he's a two-time NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion and a two-time Chicagoland winner. Tony, welcome. Thank you. Tony also has some other duties this weekend, and it's all for a good cause. The hood of his car will sport a colorful reminder of every parent's back-to-school shopping list, which will be fun. And Tony will partner with the Office Depot Foundation to donate 4,200 backpacks to kids in need during a special back-to-school backpack celebration event this Thursday at a local Office Depot store in Chicago. It's all part of the 10th anniversary celebration of Office Depot Foundation's national backpack program. And eventually, Tony will help distribute more than 300,000 backpack, backpacks sorry, to kids in need across the country during the 2010 back to school season. Tony, excellent stuff there. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, you know, obviously being with Office Depot and learning about the National Backpack Program that started in 2001, it's a, it's a really, really big effort that they put forth every year. And uh, last year we were able to be a part of helping them donate their two millionth backpacks. So this year they will have donated uh, two million three hundred thousand backpacks uh, by the end of the uh, back to school season. So uh, to donate 300,000 more backpacks this year is a, a, an awesome milestone for them. And uh, it's something I'm really, really proud of. Uh, you know, to have the back to school paint scheme uh, this weekend at Chicago is really cool. And to have a lot of the, the uh, different vendors uh, being represented on the car is, is really going to be neat. So uh, it's a, a perfect time of year uh, to remind everybody that, that school uh, will be coming back up uh, sooner than we think. So uh, to go to Office Depot and, and get your supplies for sure. You're right. School is will be on us before we know it. Before we get started with the media, we do have a question for you. It's a fan question from our NASCAR Twitter account. And Samantha from Wisconsin wants to know what's the most difficult part of being a co-owner. I mean, a car owner. My, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, the hardest thing is just, uh, you know, right now it's the economy. Uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of money to fund these teams, but, uh, you know, there, there's so many great things about it that I enjoy. I, I really enjoy working with the people, uh, and there's so many guys on our team that, that uh, have been involved in racing all their life. Uh, you know, there's a, a lot of guys now that specialize in engineering or, or different areas that haven't necessarily been racers all their life, but at Stuart Haas Racing, we've got a lot of, of true racers, I, I call them, uh, that have been around racing all their life, and, and now uh, we all work together. So, uh, but, you know, the, 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 the hardest part is, is, you know, generating and raising the funds that you need to uh, run these multi-million dollar uh, race teams because it's a it's a very costly sport it, it takes a lot of funding to do that and uh, you know that's that seems to be the hardest part it's just um, you know finding the funds to to do everything that we need to do sounds good let's go straight to media questions for Tony Stewart thank you the floor is now open for questions if you have a question please press star one on your telephone keypad at this time using the speakerphone we ask that while posing your question, you pick up your handset to provide favorable sound quality. And any time your question has been answered, you can move yourself from the queue by pressing 1. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you do have a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad at this time. Please hold while we poll for questions. Our first question comes from Bill Fleischman from the Philadelphia Daily News. Sir, you may ask your question. Hi, Tony. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about, I mean, excluding... <laughs> Daytona Saturday night, and there were a lot of reasons for the uh, for the wrecks down there. But I mean, I think after Darlington, you were 18th in points, and you know you've really climbed the ladder into the top 12 now. Could you just talk a little bit about what you know what you guys found, or you know what you're doing now that you weren't doing before? Well, I don't know that there's been one particular thing that that has really changed at all for us. We just uh, been working hard. Uh, you know, it's kind of like last year. I mean, we we had a great first half of the season, and then it just kind of fell off and. We really didn't feel like we were doing anything different. It, it we just weren't hitting on the things that that uh, we needed to in the fall to keep us good. And I think it's kind of worked the opposite way this year so far. Uh, we we just weren't uh, finding the things to to make the car happy. And uh, you know, as time's going on, and every week we're we're just learning a little more about what to do to to get the feel in the car that I like. And uh, it's been working out. So um, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, we we weren't happy where we were at in the points, and uh, I'm still not. 
uh, you know, really comfortable where we're at in the point standings right now, but we're definitely making gains for sure. So, uh, uh, but it's, it's not just one thing. I mean, it's just a lot of little things here and there. The engine department, uh, they keep making gains. Uh, our chassis are getting better. Um, you know, uh, at our shop, uh, you know, our, our shock engineers and uh, everybody's just really been digging deep and, and uh, you know, you don't have to find one big chunk to, to make a big gain like that. A lot of times it's a lot of very, very small uh, details that, uh, you know, each individual department will find that helps uh, bring the whole performance of the team up. Our next question comes from David Caravello from NASCAR.com. Sir, you may ask your question. Yeah, Tony, I actually have a, a question kind of related to USAC. Um, obviously, you're still very close to that series, and, and from the outside, it doesn't seem like we've seen as many guys make the jump from there into NASCAR's national divisions as we once did. And I wonder, are the guys in USAC still still looking at NASCAR's viable career path? Is it just harder to find rides? Is the talent still down there? I mean, I mean, what do you make of that situation right now? Well, there's definitely a lot of talent there. Uh, you know, you got guys like Bobby Santos that ran at Loudon in a modified, uh, Levi Jones who drives for us uh, in USAC, and, and Brian Clausen who's run some stock car stuff here. Uh, you know, it, they, there's still a lot of interest. There's definitely a lot of talent. We got uh, Josh Richards who runs our World of Outlaw late model, uh, dirt late model, uh, and, and he's been tr running a little bit of uh, ARCA stuff and, and uh, trying to, to get his feet wet here. There's, there's definitely a lot of interest. Uh, the hard part right now, uh, the economy's kind of got everything backed up a little bit to where uh, it's it's hard for these drivers unless they have uh, millions of dollars in sponsorship that they can bring uh, that their talent alone won't get them uh, the opportunity down here that they deserve. So um, you know it's really hard right now for those guys to get the opportunity and and uh, you know there's there's a ton of talent not only in the USAC ranks but all over the country in different different forms of racing. The hard part is uh, there's only so many spots uh, here to, to fill so uh, it makes it uh, it's it's still back the way it always has been. I mean it's really hard to get your opportunity down here but uh, there's there's definitely a lot of a lot of drivers not only in USAC but across the country that have the talent to do it. So, so that era that produced guys like like you and Ryan and Casey, I mean, that was that was kind of a lightning in a bottle sort of moment, wasn't it? I mean, we can't expect that kind of thing all the time out of there. Well, I don't know that it's necessarily just with us. I mean, uh, the, the the hard thing is it's to have those opportunities. There has to be some somewhere for them to go when they get here, and that's the problem. There's just not enough. Uh, you know, there's those guys and there's the the talented drivers waiting. They're just not. Uh, you know, good opportunities for him to come down here right now. I mean, Brian Clausen's been running. Uh, he's went back to running sprint cars. Uh, you know, Josh Wise is still running races in the Nationwide Series. But, uh, you know, there's just not a lot of, there's not a lot of cars available for these guys to get in. So, uh, you know, that's, that's the hard part. There has, to be, there has to be cars for them to drive before they can actually make that move. Tony, thanks a lot. Thanks.